Hi everybody, it's Lee again, and I'm going to talk to you today about a genus of plants. Um, this is Maranta, this is Stromanthi, and this is Calathea. These three are Calathea. Now these are all in the same family, which is Marantaceae, but they're in different genuses. So you can see the similarities in these probably quite easy. We do use these a lot in our accounts. Um, this Maranta right here, I started with two four inch plants, put them together in one six inch pot and let it grow out. Now this plant loves to hang and be in a hanging basket, so that's what I've done with it. They're very easy to take care of if you remember a couple simple facts. They don't like bright light, sunlight. They like to be in indirect light or fluorescent lights. And they don't like to ever, ever dry down all the way. This is one of those plants that when you hear the expression evenly moist, it applies to this guy right here. You don't want to let a lot of it get dry. It needs to be kept moist. And then you can get just a beautiful example like this, which trails naturally by itself. Seriously, it started like this. A relative of the Maranta is Calathea. These two, this is Fusion White, and this is another, can't quite remember the name, we don't use this one as much. A beautiful thing about these is the color on the back of the leaves is always sort of a darker shade. So if you use this like in a hanging basket or in a topper that people use on the file cabinets, you get to see the back side of the leaves. Just like the Maranta, lower light conditions, keep this out of the bright light, keep it under fluorescent light or away from the window. Don't let it dry down totally and you'll be fine. Here's one that I did let dry down and you can see how quickly the leaves get these brown edges. It makes it unattractive. It takes away from the, the beauty of it. It's very easy to keep it this way if you just remember to keep it evenly moist throughout the time. Now this is another newer plant. This is um, Stromanthi. It's in the same family but not the same genus. It has its own genus. It also has the color on the back of the leaves, gives it a two-tone effect. This is beautiful in lower light, like underneath maybe some ficus trees, that kind of thing. It doesn't need bright light to retain this color. Oftentimes, a plant that has these different colors in it will need bright light to retain the colors. This is one that keeps the color even in lower light, so don't be afraid to use this in a lower light situation. The final thing about these three that I want to tell you is that they're very, very, very uh, prone to fluoride tip burn. So a lot of times when we see a brown tip on a plant in our accounts, we think it's a water issue. Don't mistake that brown tip on this plant as a water issue. This is not your watering problem. This is just the fluorides in the water. So don't, don't readjust your watering. If everything else is going just fine, those little tips are just going to happen. So remember, if you've got lower light and you want a bright, colorful plant, these are good plants to choose from right here. And they're all in the same family, different genuses. They're all available. There you go. Enjoy. Next time.